Shelley from Best Buy's blog. I've been making some ice cream with the Breville Smart Scoop ice cream maker. The Breville Smart Scoop is the first ice cream maker I've ever tested out that has a built-in compressor. So not only will this ice cream maker churn your ice cream, but it will actually freeze it as well. And you don't have to take the ice cream bucket out and place it in the freezer for 24 hours before you make ice cream. For me, that's just a game changer because one of my issues with ice cream makers is that I can't be spontaneously making ice cream whenever I'd like to unless I've pre-planned and refroze the bowl. But with the Breville Smart Scoop, you don't have to do that. You can make ice cream whenever you want to. Here's a look at the menu of the Breville Smart Scoop. So you can choose, you can just use the dial and you can choose how soft or how hard your ice cream will be. You can choose a sorbet, frozen yogurt, gelato, or uh, custard based ice creams. There's a manual and an automatic mode. So with automatic mode, you can just press start and it'll run the program and turn off when the pre-timed uh, calculation is. It's obviously made a calculation for that kind of ice cream. When that time is up, it will turn off. With manual, it will just keep running as long as you'd like it to. So I have used both and I prefer manual, but only because I was making a few custom recipes that weren't um, just standard sorbet or standard frozen yogurt and I found the manual was really helpful in that regard. To use the Breville Smart Scoop, all you have to do is put the ice cream bucket into the machine, place the lid on, and you can choose to pre-chill the machine so it will be ready when you're ready with your ice cream mixture. You don't have to pre-chill the machine, it does just decrease the amount of time that it takes to make the ice cream. And so here's a look. The first ice cream that I made was uh, a strawberry yogurt. So I just adjusted the dial until I found the yogurt setting. And then I placed everything into the ice cream bucket. There is an included manual and it has recipes and tips for using the machine. So you should take a look at that before you use it. And once it has pre-chilled, it will tell you right on the screen to hit start and then you can hit start and it will begin churning your ice cream. Here's what frozen yogurt looked like when it was almost done. I did turn it back on for a few more minutes, but it was set to be soft and it turned out quite soft. I really liked it. And one of the best parts of having a ice cream maker like the Breville Smart Scoop is that because it does have that built-in compressor, all you have to do is wash the bucket and then you can make more ice cream. You don't have to wait 24 hours for your bucket to pre-chill again in the freezer. You can just wash everything up, clean everything up, and then start all over again. For my next test, I decided to make a custard-based ice cream. So I did cook some heavy cream, some whole milk, as well as some sugar and egg yolks, and I let it chill in the fridge for about three or four hours. I let the machine pre-chill again, and I was ready to make ice cream. Still using automatic settings, I just placed it, I turned the dial until it reached ice cream, and almost at the hardest level, and I let it go. It's a pretty quiet ice cream maker. Here's what it sounds like when it's running. It took about 30 minutes and during that time you'll be prompted if you want to add any add-ins. The lid does flip up, I'll show you that in a second. And when it's done it will notify you with a ice cream song. You can turn the music off if you choose to do so. So there's a look at the lid, it flips up and uh, that's how you pour in your add-ins. And here's a look at my ice cream when it was finished. I did notice that it begins melting almost immediately. So that's a look like what it was in the bowl after a few minutes, but you can put it back in the freezer or you can keep the keep cool setting on and it will keep your ice cream at the right consistency for up to three hours. That's just such a great feature too, because if you don't always have time to go back and check it, or if you're making dinner or what have you, then at least you know that your ice cream will stay frozen until you're ready to get it. I did try to make some pineapple sorbet that was a kind of type of Dole Whip um, and then I got a little obsessed with making Dole Whip and trying to replicate the Disneyland recipe. So, so far this has been my best attempt at Dole Whip and it actually tastes great. I was very surprised. The recipe I figured out was sort of a custard ice cream sorbet hybrid. 
I thought the Breville Smart Scoop was a very easy to use machine. It makes great ice cream, sorbet, gelato, almost anything. And I love having an ice cream maker with a built-in compressor. There's just nothing like it because I am just never prepared enough to pre-chill my ice cream bucket the day before. You can see my full written review of the Breville Smart Scoop at Best Buy's blog. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.